Hello everyone, this is Toshi. Finally, the one you've all been waiting for, the new RX is here. Let's take a look at it together with Kusakari-san, our project chief designer. Hello Kusakari-san. Hello Toshi, I'm looking forward to today. So, what was your first impression? Yes, this may sound very simple, but it's just beautiful. It's not just what I expected, but it goes far beyond my expectations. It expresses a sense of both luxury and performance, and it has a distinctive presence. Thank you. Yes, the RX is one of Lexus's core models and is a pioneer of the mainstream crossover SUV market. Therefore, we focused a lot on how to further the next chapter of Lexus. Toshi-san, have you memorized the design direction of the next generation Lexus by now? Of course I have. It is the pursuit of a unique identity and proportions born from a dynamic driving experience, correct? Yes, exactly. As CE Ono-san already explained, in terms of dynamic performance, Lexus is furthering the development of drive force control prioritized since the NX, as well as offering the elevated driving experience using direct four electrification in the RZ. Using design, we strove to create a unique identity, as well as proportions that express this new driving experience. On the other hand, we focused on certain expressions that all previous RXs have pursued, including the powerful strength of an SUV and beauty as a luxury brand. I see. So in taking on the challenge of inheriting the RX character while pursuing the next generation of Lexus design, I realized that certain things need to be protected. This is literally the stance of the Lexus brand itself. I'm happy to hear you say that. For the form, development centered on the alluring verb design theme, aiming to create a captivating, engaging presence and a powerful sense of strength. Toshi-san, could you start by looking at the side? Yes, it looks like it's poised to run and it's very impressive. When viewed from the side, the vehicle weight is well placed over the front and rear wheels, giving it a good standing posture and a solid sense of mass. Thank you very much. That's exactly what we wanted to express. As you may already know, Lexus's new driving experience emphasizes a sense of stability, power and security. To express this, I focused on proportions with a low center of gravity, where vehicle weight rested firmly over the tires. From here, Hirai-san, who is in charge of exterior design, will discuss the other points of interest, so let's talk with her in more depth. Hello, Toshi-san. I'm Hirai, in charge of exterior design. Hirai-san, nice to meet you. Please enlighten me. Kusakari-san told me that the proportions of this RX had a lot of thought put into the side view. Or rather, time was spent on expressing the evolution of driving performance. For sure, the side view is great and it really stands out. You can feel the stature of the RX, the commanding presence is very nice. So what are some of the specific points? Yes, thank you. As you said, the first thing we wanted to express was a bold appearance and a stance with a low center of gravity and solidly planted feel. To achieve this, we established a horizontal front-to-rear posture with low center of gravity by raising the front of the hood and lowering the bottom edge of the rear window compared to the current model. In addition, lowering the belt line compressed the area above the tires and enabled the creation of a solid, low center of gravity and well-grounded look. I see that. So it's true that the horizontal belt line creates a sense of composure and stability. Yes, another factor that leads to a good stance is the elongation of the hood. Moving the base of the A-pillar farther back than on the current model keeps the overall length and front overhang while emphasizing the elongated hood and makes the weight of the cabin appear to rest on the rear tires. I see. So there is a well-thought-out intention behind these packages and forms. Yes, that's the aim. It's the surface design that makes the proportions stand out. 
This time, I paid particular attention to the side surface expressions. I was going to say that too. At first glance, I thought the surface of the front door was a bit plain. But in actuality, it's very sensual towards the rear with great contrast and looks really good. It's as if it's about to kick its hind legs out and lunge forward. Thank you. I think this is one of the highlights of the form. Like you said, I created a sense of powerful traction through the widened surface flares going from the rear door to the tires. I also connected that form to the rocker to allow the highlight of the loop to pass through beautifully. As a result, I think it also contributes to the density of the mass. I see. I think the uniqueness of Lexus is evident in these kind of expressions. The opposing elements coexist well together with a solid feel that begins in the front, moving towards the dynamic rear surfaces. Also, this transition from the wheel flare to the tail lamps is very nice. It evokes strong driving performance and a well-planted feel like it's grasping the ground. Yes, the rear overhang has been shortened compared to the current model so I think we were able to create a condensed form from the fenders to the tail lamps. I see. The proper balance between the elongated hood and the compressed form of the rear may also contribute to the powerful driving image. And this! You can really sense the RX character right here! Yes, I think it's already the icon of the RX. The aim of the design around the D-pillar is to be stylish, but it's evolved to be more three-dimensional compared to the current model's flat graphics. I see. By becoming more three-dimensional, I sense a more coupe-like feel for the silhouette. I understand that the side has evolved considerably while keeping the favorable RX qualities with regards to the proportions and a one-of-a-kind identity your Lexus is aiming for. Next, let's take a look at the front. The front end present. So, this is the new spindle expression. I wonder how they did this. The outer plate reaches this part of the spindle, and the gradation moving downward is really nice. Yes, moving towards electrification, we took on the challenge of incorporating the new front brand identity shown on the LFZ and RZ, called the spindle body on the RX as well. As one of our approaches, we tried seamlessly connecting the body and grille. This created a better overall sense of integration and allowed us to express the powerful and low center of gravity impression that you mentioned. The exterior color continues below the emblem to create a gradation and on the sides a special design blends the body and grille together to create a seamless look. Yes, this is new. Of course, this grille still draws in plenty of air and retains cooling functionality. Also, the line on the bolt here is an element that gives the spindle a three-dimensional structure but also functions to improve driving view and line tracing in corners. A design rooted in function, correct? Exactly! I used the headlamps to emphasize the form of the spindle body by bringing the edge of the lamps drastically towards the inside. I also think that the design of the headlamps, which accentuates the L-shaped DRLs, gives off a powerful impression. I now understand the spindle body concept and form very well. But it must have taken a lot of effort to realize this level of attention to detail in the design. Yes, it did. We redrew the sketches many times and had discussions with everyone to finally arrive at this form and get to this point. This front fascia represents our strong desire to continuously deepen the Lexus design. The silhouette in the rear is also very important, so I focused on making the cabin look like it firmly sat on the body by bringing the belt line inward a little, raising the glass upright and securing the shoulder width on the fenders. And hasn't the cabin been tapered down here? And you were able to flare the fender panels out this far, it's really sexy. Yes, I think you get the impression of a more tapered cabin because this part of the D-pillar, which I talked about during the side silhouette, is designed to extend all the way to the rear. I see, so that's what's going on. It has a really good-looking stance. 
The rear combination lamps also have the elongated light bar inherited from the IS and NX. Yes, the RX's elongated light bar is designed to wrap around the side of the body to give it a wider look. This is a small detail, but these reflectors have a gradation effect, blending it into the body. In addition, by keeping the license plate mounting area flat, we achieve a unified sense of low center of gravity and a widened form. Thank you very much, Hirai-san. Since our focus was on re-envisioning the driving experience, we worked without compromise on a design that could express this new performance. I'd be happy if you could sense our passion for the RX just by seeing the actual car. Thank you. At last, it's time to get into the car. Whoa, it's so spacious. It's really wide to the side. It's spacious and simple, and I think the total balance is really good. With the RX as the new evolution of the Lexus interior, we challenged ourselves to create a simple yet thoughtful interior space that didn't rely on ornamentation. First, we created an environment that encompassed its occupants with broad continuous forms, flowing from the meter hood to the instrument panel and to the door trim. The adoption of the E-latch eliminated the inside handle from the shoulder, so we took advantage of this and carved out the door trim to extend the instrument panel. I think this helped with the perception of horizontal spaciousness. Yes, I see. The fancy ornamentation has been minimized, and simplicity now gives it a sense of luxury. Wow, the effective use of new technology is very intriguing. So, let me try to get into driving position. This display, the switches, and shift configuration is all based on the Tizuna concept that we know, right? Yes, it is. Within this encompassing interior space, we've laid out a cockpit that allows the driver to concentrate on driving. In addition, we paid close attention to proper visibility and field of view to achieve a more enjoyable and confident driving experience. The pulled back A pillar and the elongated hood create the proportion, as explained during the exterior part, and contribute to improved visibility from the inside and ease of driving. I see. Your design is truly rooted in functional essence. Although it evolves by incorporating the Tezuna concept, common across other Lexuses, I think that the RX-like characteristics that Kusakari-san mentioned are still very well integrated. Not only the Tizuna concept, but coupled with the overall design of the interior, you'll feel even more at one with the car. Also, since it's an SUV, we focused on storage and utility. Y you mean this console? It's cleaner and simpler. Yes, it is. We added a lid to achieve both refinement and utility. This front box has an optional wireless charging system for smartphones and four USB ports laid out inside and outside the box. Nice. It's easy to use and also good for security. So I'm interested in the rear seat comfort and cargo space. Wow, the visibility in the rear is great. My eye line is high up and I feel like I'm riding in an SUV. It's spacious too, and this is really nice. This is more a result of the packaging improvements rather than design. Visibility has improved because the belt line has been lowered. The spaciousness is due to the increased couple distance and thinner seats, which provide more space around the knees, making it feel roomier. We also re-evaluated the cross-section of the seats. It looks like you wouldn't get too tired even on long trips. You can see the front dash, which would certainly make the ride more enjoyable. When I saw the exterior, I thought the interior might be smaller because of the very low posture. But it's not like that at all. But luggage compartment was effective, right? Let's take a look at the luggage area then. You see, actually we've secured plenty of space. The rear overhang has been shortened and the suspension has been tilted vertically for better ride comfort. But we've made it even more user-friendly and maintained the same capacity as the current model 
by lowering the loading height and making the back door as thin as possible. The packaging and interior space have been well thought out. So, I took a close look at the interior with Sakari-san. Thank you very much. Was that it looked like I could concentrate on driving, yet still enjoy a sense of wide openness. I think I'd enjoy this space during travel with my friends and family. The exterior and interior design is rooted in functionality with a focus on driving. It's simple, but it gave me a better understanding about the unique Lexus design expressions not found in other makes. Thank you very much. We're going to continue to pursue the true essence of performance and functionality and evolve beyond our customers' expectations. Thank you for your time today. Thank you.